Hi everyone, I'm Mike Staver, the author of Leadership Isn't for Cowards, and this is Mondays with Mike. This week's question is, Dear Mike, the trade association to which I belong just made a decision to change the name and their overall branding. A significant uprising has occurred and there is frustration and dissatisfaction with the decision, the way it was decided, and how it was rolled out. I too disagree with the decision to change it, the way it was changed, but want to come from a constructive and positive outlook. <clears throat> what do you suggest for the best way to do that? Well, here's how I suggest. Number one, you're already in the right space because you're uh, focusing on having a good attitude. That's really positive. Number two, I would just simply say um, that the issue now is not that the brand has changed, but the issue rather is the fact that the way they rolled it out and the way they came up with the change. So I would send an email to the president of your association or the CEO and suggest a very simple three-step process and uh, make it very constructive and then offer to help. Make sure, though, you don't candy coat it. Tell them you disagree with the decision. You don't think the way it was handled is correct, but make sure you end the email in a supportive way. I support you. I support the association. I support the leadership. I just don't support the decision. And here's what my suggestion is. Give them a very simple three-part suggestion that has nothing to do with you, that solves this problem, and then offer to participate as best you can. That's what leadership needs. Support the leader, even if you don't support the decision. Make a, deci uh, make a recommendation for constructive uh, uh, fixing of it, and then offer to participate where possible. Right? Hope that's helpful. I'm Mike Saver. This is Mighty's with Mike. Take care. Bye-bye.